Hello and welcome everyone to our very first episode of ABAP on BTP platform. This is going to be a complete free course and complete easy to learn directly on YouTube. So you can learn it for free without any problem. Second important thing, we are going to start completely here from scratch and we will try to cover each and every portion of BTP which we can consume from ABAP environment. Third important point that even if you are not a ABAP developer, you want to switch your career to ABAP development side, still you can learn it. I will plan it in the same manner that you will not require any prerequisite, right? So let's start from the introduction part and let's try to understand how a ABAP developer can become a BTP consultant. Yeah, so what is going to be our goal, agenda of this, of this playlist? Here, this is there going to be there on the YouTube. So what is going to be the agenda of this playlist? Understand the situation. The question is, say I am a functional consultant. I am a functional consultant. And I want to learn to become a BTP developer. How I am going to do that? This playlist will eventually help you. Second point of I am a core ABAP developer. Developer on SAP GUI. I want to learn BTP because there is a high demand in the market. So I also want to become a BTP consultant. We'll see what are the things are possible from ABAP point of view here. Third important point, I am a ABAP on HANA consultant. Consultant, what is me? What is there for me? On this ABAP on BTP. Right, fourth one. I am working in different domain, Java, Python, or maybe JavaScript. I am hearing the demand of BTP in the market, BTP in the market. How can I learn it? As I am new to ABAP new to web development so many things right so if you are any of this one or let's say i am a manager or solution architect how can i learn this ABAP on BTP. All these kind of questions is the simple answer. Follow this structured path. Follow this structured path and suggest it to others as well who want to learn ABAP on BTP. Okay, this is going to be the simplest answer for it. The agenda of this playlist or course, call it whatever you want. Second important point here. The second point is let's start with our introduction. So my name is Amrit Raj. I am a SAP BTP consultant, right? I have tons of experience of training thousands of students and employees of different, different companies. So we are going to see lots of things here. Meanwhile, let me explain something about SAP ABAP here. The thing is, whenever you hear ABAP or before that, SAP is an ERP software and just like any ERP in the market, market, 
whatever the ERP things you see there, just like any ERP in the market, SAP also manages the business process. for the company ERP stands for enterprise resource plan resource plan ERP stands for enterprise resource planning and every ERP software is used to manage the entire business entire business of any company so now if i talk about this sap if there you are managing the business we have various things here it will consist of if we are talking about a company point of view human resources will be there so human will be there finance will be there sales materials purchase details details infra infrastructures everything is there for any company right any company will it will consist of each and everything so this whole thing is going to be managed is going to be managed by this ERP software. In our case, we have SAP software. If I give you a basic history of SAP, so SAP stands for system application and product in real time data processing this is the standard definition of sap software this is a german based software software which was launched in 1972 by five former former IBM employees five former IBM employees okay this product eventually got started to become popular and if I give you a basic idea it is generating around 35 plus billion every year and it is the biggest ERP software in the market from last 30 years that's why SAP consultants are paid most if we are talking about enterprise related things and so many things are there here so let's understand about our course that we are going to understand in this particular playlist on our youtube channel the thing is for that we need to understand journey of or evolution of sap software evolution of the sap software how sap software got evolved over the period of time and that will help us to understand why do we need it correct so over the period of time sap software has evolved a lot evolved a lot if we talk about the things here that we have very first generation of sap software was called sap r1 very first generation of that we are seeing here for our sap software it was called sap r1 architecture r 
means real time here since we are doing to do the real time data processing this architecture consists of only one layer where only one layer was there right only one layer was there where all the user interaction data processing and data storage was there this was a very complicated complicated software since only one layer was there complicated software and you can see since only one layer was there lots of problems were there for its architectural part correct so security issues and very low performance so eventually sap resolved this problem sap decoupled the application layer application layer and database layer in this r1 and what they did they came with their second generational sap solution which was called r2 a real time two tier architecture very simple definition you can give for this as real time two tier architecture this consists of the application layer and database layer very simple ways of understanding things here application layer and database layer application layer was completely responsible application layer was completely responsible for logic and user interaction and database layer was was responsible for database layer was responsible for storing the data sap over the period of time evolved a lot and it came with its third generational software which was called sap r3 because load on the application layer ultimately leads to the less performance of the application so less performance was there with both the user interaction and logic building and execution was there on the same layer finally sap came with its third generational software which was called r3 sap r3 here real time architecture three layer so real time three tier architecture real time three tier architecture this consists of first presentation layer application layer and database layer presentation layer application layer and database layer presentation layer if you check it was completely dedicated for the application development was completely dedicated for the application development purpose uh, sorry for the user interaction what does user interaction means a very simple definition you can give passing input and getting the output passing the input and getting the output 
second was our application layer so this application layer was dedicated for logic and uh, logic and writing of programs and database layer was for storing and managing the data data okay so we will continue this session and that is all for this session we will continue right from our sap architecture from the next episode and here we saw what how the evolution of sap software exactly happens we will see some more features out of it in the next episode so hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the subscribe button always hit the subscribe button like the video and share the video with whomever needs this knowledge it will eventually help you a lot to understand the btp platform from our abap development side right so again thank you very much for watching the video we will continue from the next part